going on everybody this is tyler aka natural brother reborn back at it again with another vlog bog basically but <laughs> sorry i sound a little stuffy today um i'm under the weather right now and i have a little cold so i, I apologize if I, I like sneeze or cough in the rest of the video so just let you guys know um i wanted to point out today um of course last friday was the release of pokemon sun and moon it was amazing. I, I haven't beaten the game yet. The story is amazing. It's great. The way that you get to the climax before you beat the game, basically, um, is is very revealing and uplifting in, in my um, own way because family is a key term in, in this game and in series and just in life in general as well. Um, it's pretty much it how so far I'm right now I'm like close I'm very close to the end um, I just recently got the Ferium Z so I, I'm about there and um, I wanted to give a shout out as well to the creators of Aminos for Pokemon Sun and Moon actually it is a great app um, the community is beautiful. Um, some of the chats that I've been through, I've already told them that I have a YouTube and I just want to try to expand. Um, so if you guys are part of the Amino group or just a Pokemon fanatic, please like check this out because it is the best app for Sun and Moon like, to, to be together. Plus there's more Amino apps that you could click on when you make your profile. Um, there's like, you know, Batman, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Cars, um, cooking, TV shows, you know, and, and just in general all about like the community in each one of their own that you download as the app, um, it gets better within time. So, um, I'm bringing up to you guys, as you can see right now, uh, Cerebi.net. I wanted to go through and give my opinion upon what they were, you know, looking upon and into the game depth, basically, and just, just a small, like, review, I, I guess, um, and just read some of it, I guess, I don't know, um, something to pass the time by, I guess, as well, and of, of course, you know, um, <clears throat> Straight off the bat, I was also reading prior to it before starting the video. I'm a bit, I'm a big Pokemon puzzle guy, and when it first came out for the 3DS, um, it was like last year or the year before that. And uh, right now, I actually just got the Mega Gengar uh, Stone for inside the game, and I like all the special Pokemon that they do. Um, same with the app on the phone; um, you can download it as well. Uh, all the new Pokemon, basically, that are coming out for their specials is really neat. I like it. And plus, you could get, like, the items and everything. Um, right here as well, um, this is new and just brought up to my attention. <coughs> <coughs> See what I mean by the coughing? <laughs> uh, but this brought up to my attention uh, with the iPhone. And basically, if you have the App Store or Window, no, not Windows, Android, uh, the Google Store, not Windows Store, um, it costs like 99 cents or $1.99, I believe. And you could get all these stickers here and um, be able to send them to your friends and whatever. My favorite one has got to be the Executor, of course. <laughs> And same with the Snorlax as well. Like, that that means, like, you know, I'm either hungry or whatever. Okay. I, I see that you're playing Global Counter Strike. Um, I love Steam <laughs> when it pops up like that. But anyway, when I clicked on it as well, it shows the new wallpapers, which is pretty neat. And um, my favorite one had to be this one. And could, just because Rowlet. <laughs> Just because Rowlet, that's all. That's all you need to know, you know. But, um, this also brought up to my attention as well, watching a bunch of the Pokemon theories, watching the Pokemon, um, hypotheses, um, hypotheses. And we're not alone in this Pokemon universe. 
if you've um, seen any of the theories, my favorite one is from uh, Linson, and I forget if that's how you pronounce his name. I too apologize. Um, Pokemon didn't, Game Freak didn't put version, of course, on XY, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, uh, you know, Sun and Moon. So those lines are like in an own universe, if you know what I mean. Like, it, it's weird. It, it goes so so far in depth, but I'll put um, his link in the description below here. It's so different. It is so weird. Like, there, there's so much that you need to take in just by watching his videos. They're very long, though, but it's worth it. So, in, in our own universe, basically, we have different Pokemon. You know, you have different Ultra Beasts, of course. And as you can see, um, UB, I believe that's... I believe that they're both three or um, four, but I'm not sure. <laughs> that rhymed and it wasn't even on time. Hey. Um, however, like, of course, you get different ver the different versions and um, different Pokemon. But I believe, like, once you have them all in, like, your own game, of course you're going to have them. But theory-wise, why are these specific Pokemon coming into our universe like it is hard to explain the reason behind it but because of the eighth uh aether foundation uh we could already tell by it and i don't want to give too much away if you guys already haven't beaten the game or you know whatever but basically it is something that we you know as a whole don't know just yet until we've beaten the game or whatever and could do our own um theories based upon it now, the cool thing is I like um, Kazuma because this this one is like a, a, a prism uh, universal Pokemon, basically, as a, as an Ultra Beast. Um, and, and for, uh, like, his whole entire just body is, like, all prism, all crystals. Like, is, is he, like, you know, gonna uh, do something specific and, like, you know, later on if... Um, the Pokemon Alola with Ash, where he looks like um, he just went through another dimension with, like, Rick and Morty, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe he just kind of, like, got, like, a facelift? I don't know. But if they do more like this and, and put it in the series alone itself, like, the first and second episode were amazing. Not gonna lie. I'll do another topic about that. But I, I more or less, like the theory of it and excuse me well i'm sorry phone <laughs> uh, something was going on um basically just like that you know just all the theories that you can see and um of course zygarde um as a legendary like he is very hard to find with all the cells and the cool thing is if you collect like a certain amount of course you get 10 percent form then you also i believe get another form where he evolves into much of a bigger dog um i haven't seen the image of it yet but that's what i've heard now if we could find something like that now sure why the hell not but the the decoding and bugging and everything from prior to release um a lot of people did look up some kind of information on Zygarde on that. Um, also, FYI, from my last video last week, um, if anybody hasn't seen it, go check it out. Uh, but I also did uh, tell everybody to get Genesect, and it actually ends this week, next like day or two, I believe. Um, so hurry up, go get your Genesect if you're a Genesect fan. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it that I know of, and just kind of just looking through here on Cerebi, you know, which is always a good site to look upon your information, and, you know, just to do a little, you know, fun when you want to, and today I'm not really kind of like feeling it as much to do a lot to look up, basically, if I wanted to, I would go depth, but 
as of right now, I'm just kind of relaxing. But um, anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys um, always staying tuned in with everything that has been recently happening with Pokemon and just an everyday life of mine. <laughs> but um, I will definitely be able to do another video later this week after I'm done with work or whatever and um, be able to do something there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you later maybe in real life RL AFK away from something <laughs> later guys